Now, for a reality check segment this week, Ford announced that in the next 12 months, they're bringing to market a new adaptive steering system they say will make cars more maneuverable at slow speeds and more fun to drive at faster speeds. An electronically controlled gear motor is placed inside the steering wheel, replacing the solid connection between it and the steering shaft. In a nutshell, the gear motor can basically add or subtract from your steering inputs based on the computer's wisdom. The motorized wheel can continuously change the ratio depending on speed and other driving conditions. Ford says that at low speeds like when parking, the system uses the motor to speed up the turning, requiring you to make less motions at the wheel. At faster speeds like on the highway, the system can be programmed to be less responsive and even correct for various things as the software becomes more enabled. Folks, this just doesn't set well with me for a great number of reasons. At the very least, the enthusiast angle. I just don't like the idea of a computer in a gear motor physically between my steering wheel and my tires. But I really think there's a safety issue here. Has Ford or the other automakers that want to put these things between me and my tires given any thought to how these devices are going to behave when they're 5, 10, or 15 years old, maybe even 20 years old? Things wear out. They do get old. And the reason I bring this up that device right there looks remarkably similar to this one. This is the power window motor that recently failed in my 1995 Ford Mustang, about 20 years old. And when it failed, what happened was the gears inside simply wore out and they started skipping. So that caused the window to skip. And eventually the window just stopped and this motor just spun round and round and round. And so I really wonder what it's going to be like when this motor is wearing out in my steering wheel. So Ford, I certainly hope you're giving that some thought because I am. I don't want to start waking up in the mornings as an auto journalist and reading stories about grandma running head on into a school bus full of kids because her steering wheel broke or because the computer went haywire and did something she didn't expect. So these are real concerns and I hope somebody out there who's doing these things, putting these devices together, I really sincerely hope they're giving that some thought. That's our report for this week. I'm Sam Haymar for Test Driven TV. I hope you enjoyed the ride.